All right, you guys, welcome to part four. This is going to be kind of a, a short little tutorial, but I want to show you guys how I got everything kind of set up and got that render uh, that you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, real quickly, I'm just going to set up a texture. Um, I've done a more in-depth tutorial on this, so check out my channel, uh, V-Ray setting up not only spec gloss, but then PBR textures as well. But uh, I'll just run through this real quick here. Um, so under V-Ray materials, oops, actually, let's set this to... Uh, V-Ray. All right. Uh, so back to, we're going to get a V-Ray material and let's grab our textures and we're going to pipe in. Let's see here. Diffuse to diffuse, uh, glossiness to glossiness, reflection to reflection. We need to turn off or unlock uh, the IOR or Fresnel. We're going to pipe that in and then let's go ahead and put our normal map in, normal and height. Okay, so now the maps we need to override are normal gloss and IOR, and I like to turn the blur value down to 0.2. Uh, max by default will blur the maps, which kind of helps the render engine speed things up a little bit. Oops, we're gonna keep that automatic. Uh, but we um, lose detail, so not always a good thing. It does help render times. If you need to speed things up, maybe don't turn the blur down or if you're in a pinch or a hurry. Um, but yeah, doing so will give us more detail, especially in the diff something like the diffuse. So if I turn the show, um, show in shaded in uh, viewport, we get to see kind of what's going on. So again, I'm gonna put in my description um, the tutorial that kind of covers all of this and setting up maps. I know I went over it kind of quickly. Oh yeah, forgot, bump. That needs to be, whenever I do 100, it ends up making it the, the, the render weird. So. I, I do 99, and that seems to help with that. Um, so I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description on how to properly set up materials, uh, spec gloss or PBR within v and I go into a little more in depth on how to do that. I'm going to work on getting a little studio set up and then also uh, get the rest of these materials set up. And I'll be back in a second. We'll kind of go over uh, how I got everything uh, put together. So I'll see you in just one sec. All right, you guys. So back, I got everything connected up, as you can see. I'll show you what else I did. Added a little kind of backdrop, this little JL looking kind of thing. It's common for studio setups. Got two lights, one which is um, a little cooler. So this guy here and has uh, some directionality to it. It's invisible, but it's still affecting reflections. So this is the warmer of the two. This is the cooler of the two. Same deal, invisible, but affecting reflections. Um, and then I have this uh, HDRI dome in here. That's this like um, kind of warehouse looking thing. Helps with uh, reflections in the metals. We don't really see it too much in the cloth areas, but um, that's kind of uh, how I have things set up. And let's take a look at some of these renders. So this, um, I named it incorrectly, but um, this is without displacement. As you can see, there's not, it's a little flat. It can be a little flat, especially in these areas up here. It just kind of looks a little dead, a little CG, I would say, um, kind of in here as well. It doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look as, I don't know, the texture doesn't look as real. If I cut a couple over, so this guy now has displacement on it, and we start seeing, we get a little more uh, bumps within here. We get a little more uh, just definition. It's not so CG. Again, breaking things up. It does take a lot more work to be messing around with IPR. Um, we run into one little issue I couldn't get out just because of this displacement map itself uh, where the, the seams are coming out, even though we have keep continuity. Let me show you that. If I go to the bag itself, um, I've got keep continuity on, but it's this pushing and pulling. So if I probably brought this shift down even more, uh, it might fix that problem. But um, is a little bit more, actually a lot of bit more work to get displacement in there, but um, I, I, I think it's worth it in the end. It, it, it has so much more of an organic feel to it. Um, could be adjusted even more, maybe smoothed out if I use a little bit of blur. Um, so what happens is we pipe this displacement in here, uh, like if I drag this over, Max will instance it over. Max will have a blur of one on it, automatically, which kind of helps smoothen it out, which could be a good thing, depending on the look you're going for. Could also be a bad thing. So uh, on this guy, I had 0.5. I think I had 0.5 on these guys as well. 
Let's take a look at this. Yeah, 0.5 on those. Um, one thing I did have to do with the displacements, which I want to show you, uh, and this was probably the worst offender, is when it comes out of Substance Painter, uh, it's not very contrasted. So if you look at that, it's kind of just, yeah, not doesn't have a lot of contrast to it. So what I did was uh, just do an auto levels on it, kind of crunched it um, so we get a little more detail. Did the same with the handles too, um, just to kind of make these stand out a little more. Makes it a little more... Um, uh, a little more depth to it, I would say. Um, so did that. Anything else that I do? I think that's it. Um, so that kind of wraps up the tutorial, you guys. So I want to appreciate or uh, I want to say thank you to, to Awesome uh, for the bag. Um, thank you. Thank you for lending this to us. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. If you guys have something you'd like me to texture, kind of check out. Um, feel free to send it to me. Um, I'll put my email up in the description. Um, I'd love more assets or scenes to work with. Uh, especially stuff that you guys want to see. So uh, thank you again for watching this tutorial. The next one I have coming out might be a Star Wars one, uh, especially with the movies and the video game coming out. I think it'd be fun to work on a, a Star Wars asset. So thanks for your guys' time, and we will see you in the next one. Till then. <laughs>